before we get started make sure you go ahead and subscribe here to my channel and then click on that bell notification so you're notified every time I post another video this video is about five years old right uh, because this was a model that I did one of my clients but a model right um so in this video we are doing some corrective color um if you want a more detailed video on corrective color then let me know and i'll do that for members all right i'll do a really really in-depth video on corrective color for members but anywho at this point i am checking the temperature of my water because if i rinse her hair color out with hot water my colors are going to bleed and she did get some dimension color right okay so on top of her getting dimensional color she also is getting a scalp treatment now when you are doing your hair color yourself I don't recommend you using any type of chemicals on your hair or on your scalp if you don't know what you're doing right but if you are a professional cosmetologist there are certain procedures that we take to prepare the scalp if you do have any type of scalp inflammation or anything like that where your hair can be colored safely so i do want to put that disclaimer out here don't watch this video like sis as long as you do doing like this you can color your hair even if you got a scalp inflammation i didn't say that okay so let's keep going she ended up getting a little bit of high lip color just in a couple of places right but her scalp inflammation comes from having hair extensions for long periods of time i'll leave the link in the description box below she is um, a person the person who had the weave in for about four months right so this is uh about a year later right uh, about a year later from that video and at this point um i had i was still taking some of my regular clients and a couple of models and i would do hair like one day a week in my friend's room right so this was around that time and um right now i am finishing up the process with the hair color this was also a brand new if i'm not mistaken um i love joyco joyco is my the primary hair color that i use but um in this video they had their own uh I don't know how else to say it but competitive product for olaplex and as you can see i'm still with olaplex i'm not gonna say nothing bad about it but i'm still with olaplex now as i mentioned at the very beginning she does have scalp inflammation so all of the conditioners that i'm using on her scalp are meant to be rubbed into the scalp to treat the inflammation all right so the, it is made with products that are not comedogenic they are sending a treatment to the scalp this is the same thing when your dermatologist recommends you something but these products are not highly oil based so no it's not the same thing as having a treatment oil that's another conversation links in the description box but right now i am not detangling her hair i want you to keep your eye on my comb there is no hair in my comb uh most of the time when you guys see videos on detangling hair and things of that nature you always see a crap load of hair in combs that's not normal guys you're not supposed to have a crap load of hair in your comb to have a little bit is fine right because you will get um the leftover shedded hair but your hair should be detangled before you wet it right long before you wet it so in this case right her hair was already detangled way before the color went on her hair so now at this point that i'm rinsing the color out and now i'm just combing through the conditioner and the um and then processes again this is not a color video so i remember that there is a process like after you rinse the color out is certain condition it's a certain um 
product that you have to use right after that and then right after you use that product then nextly the thing that you do is follow up with your normal shampoos and conditioners but the main reason that i want to use this as an example is because a a really big reason for scalp inflammation is the use of chemicals right a lot of people use chemicals but they don't do it right a lot of people use chemicals like relaxers like with the lawsuit with the relaxers relaxers do not give you those illnesses right but you using relaxers wrong end up giving you those illnesses because when you use relaxers or when you use color or any chemical when you use it properly right when you've been trained on how to use it properly you know how to apply the product without breaking the barrier of the skin right so it's never able to penetrate the skin to cause any health issues right so this is um, a product that we were using for her scalp inflammation which really really did work out i'm not necessarily going to recommend it um but it is a product that we use for her scalp inflammation yes it worked yes everything worked but like i said i just don't i'm not um it's not like i use their product for years so if i don't use a product for years i'm not like oh yeah girl go buy this but i do want you to know i'm not just rubbing a product into the scalp i still mean the same exact thing nothing goes on the scalp but shampoo and so this is the shampoo for that treatment and then nextly we'll follow up with the um scalp treatment for the conditioner but it's something that I want you guys to be very, very aware of. Again, this is not an attack on Team Natural. This is us connecting the dots because most people have been following Team Natural practices where it causes you to wash your hair less, right? And then when you do wash your hair, you're so afraid to strip your natural oils from your scalp and from your hair shaft because you think that just because your hair is curly, it's not going to make it down. What is up happening is you make your scalp a breeding ground for bacteria make sure you check the link in the description box below where i give you a list of 25 of the thousand 1000 different species of bacteria and yeast that live on the scalp and their functions right and guess what none of these bacteria are bad unless they're able to be overrun and guess how these bacteria get overrun these bacteria get overrun by you ending up oiling the scalp because oils and all of the lipids that are in these different oils end up feeding and strengthening these colonizing bacteria and these different forms of yeast that live on the scalp all right so now um i'm putting this uh, uh, conditioner on her hair and again every conditioner that we are using every product that we are using is a product that is meant for the scalp okay when i was standing behind the chair i was not just a hairstylist they came and measured her look cute no baby i was a scalp specialist and a hair shaft specialist and the picture that you guys just saw on the screen is one that displays that I would have clients that came in with different forms of scalp inflammation, but now because I'm not behind the chair, I have turned all of that into the seven day challenge. This is a beauty within the seven day challenge and you can read it for yourself. This is something she put together, not me. She posted these pictures within the group, you guys. So when you change the way that you are doing your hair and when you change the patterns that cause the inflammation that leads to the thinning and the different forms of scalp inflammation and hair shaft disorders then you end up being able to reverse the thinning and balding fast and it's really really complicated for people to understand and within the seven day challenge most women are blown away by how simplistic the routine is in in comparison to the things that they've done with team natural right team natural just so you can avoid a blow dryer or just so you can avoid heat you take on like 30 or 40 more steps right something that should only take you 30 minutes to an hour is now taking you eight hours to a week sometimes it'll take a week for your hair to dry right so these are things that i really want everybody to to take into 
into consideration again just take it into consideration i'm not trying to change your mind um if you don't agree then girl why are you watching this video don't be wasting your time go eat some chicken go drink some milk or something you know what i mean but um yeah at this point we are just making sure that her scalp is cleansed and i'm also making sure that her hair is properly prepared for her everyday life right when people say oh you don't need conditioner when it comes to the hair industry and products especially for professionals we make things very simplistic for ourselves so the complication that's being added to everything from team natural is crazy because to condition means to prepare something right so when i shampoo your hair i'm cleansing right and when i am conditioning your hair i am preparing it for life right because when you walk out of the hair salon you go to work you're gonna go outside you're gonna have sun exposure right the wind's gonna blow you'll have different environmental pollutions that are gonna be going past your hair and all of these different things and God already put something within your body to ensure that your hair is protected towards for all of that. And it's called sebum and it is a waxy substance. So it's not an oil that's going to drip down your hair shaft. No, it is a wax and it needs to be pulled down the hair shaft manually and the easiest way to do it is just with a comb and a brush and you can wear your hair in different styles that allow you to comb it you don't have to straighten your hair you can get a flexi rod set you can get a perm rod set and if you set the bonds properly now sometimes people will do a flexi rod set and say oh i can't comb it baby that's because you ain't do it right all right practice makes perfect get a mannequin right get a mannequin and don't try the flexi rod set on your head until you know what you're doing when it comes out good on the mannequin then do it on your head the same way that's how all professionals learn in cosmetology school we're not all sitting there with combs and brushes and mirrors and doing our hair no we have mannequins and when we pass certain tests we end up getting on the floor and we get to do real people so do that right here on the screen is one of my clients she booked a consultation for her daughter because her daughter had massive scalp inflammation and a balding right due to some of the practices that she was following as a mom there's no handbook i know i've been there and here on the screen is her review right these this is her review talking about how Baldock Blue helped her daughter to reverse the balding. You just saw the before and after, and you see her words in less than 30 days. She was able to turn this around because this is so important. It's so important for us to understand that when it comes to hair care and when it comes to hair growth, we need to start from the inside and go out. But the first thing we go to is a hair product, right? Because everybody is starting from the outside in. We're playing this game from constantly from defense and we have no offense. We're not preparing ourselves ahead of time, right? So let's switch it up. So again, um, I am combing her hair. As you can see, there are no knots, no tangles. I'm combing her hair. And I will say it's wild to me that nowadays a lot of a lot of hairstylists don't shampoo hair but i want y'all to know most likely the person that you're going to that doesn't shampoo is not a licensed cosmetologist so be aware of that because if you are not a licensed cosmetologist you, legally you cannot shampoo hair most of the people you guys are going to are licensed braiders so now this is a scalp treatment normally a person with high porosity hair is not getting like an excessive um, deep conditioning treatment under the dryer because the cuticle is already open but this treatment was for her scalp all right it was for her scalp so that is why we went ahead and went under the dryer and again it's crazy to me um that people are like oh you have to come with your hair already washed because as you can see the shampoo takes a pretty long time right um i sped it up a little bit in some spots and of course there's some parts that are uh, chopped out and and everything but i mean even with all of the edits this shampoo is over 15 minutes long 
and it was definitely longer than that so a lot of times my shampoo would be like 20 30 minutes that's why i had a very 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 serious late policy like five minute grace period because i'm gonna be shampooing your hair and rubbing on you for like 30 minutes so don't play with me but anyway yeah that is what we are doing now and now i'm just making sure that all of the product is out of the hair um i've seen on so many videos over the years on youtube where people tell you hey go ahead and leave the conditioner in like leave the conditioner in leave a little bit of the conditioner in don't rinse it all out leave a little bit of it in and let it sit in there do not do that you guys and in the video clip that's coming up next this video clip that's coming up next is six years old probably a little older than that and this person did everything that I say not to do again I was the person who everybody came to to fix their hair and they either came there to fix it they had already accepted that it was damaged or they're just there to do a length check and this beauty here that we are going to see next is one that came to do a length check i'm not even gonna lie to you not one of my favorite clients <laughs> time coming next but not this one this in the bowl this one this in the bowl is definitely one of my favorite clients 100 percent 100 percent but yeah so um at this point her treatment is done all of the product is completely rinsed out of her hair and now i have a microfiber towel you don't have to use a t-shirt you can use a microfiber towel we use microfiber towels in the hair salon so now this is someone who um has came and sat in my chair and she has not had her hair straightened in years like all she does is the wash and goes apple cider vinegar rice water that was her jam right and she would layer products and layer and layer them on and you can imagine her curls or her fro probably looked beautiful right yeah so um we did a scalp detox right and a hair shab detox she ended up getting a Olaplex treatment as well. I do that for now. I mean, they got to pay for it. It don't come free with the appointment. But um, she ended up getting all of the treatments just so we can make sure her hair is at maximum strength, right? At maximum health. Whenever I get in somebody's hair, which is why it is insanity to me that there are hair stylists and cosmetologists that are out here that's telling you to come with your hair already washed i'm willing to bet twenty dollars i bet you 25 dollars they don't got no license because this is what we need to see a licensed cosmetologist understand that that is a possibility right what you just seen on the screen is a possibility so the last thing that a licensed cosmetologist is going to do is just hop into your hair and they haven't properly cleaned it the reason that i do a scalp detox and the reason that i do a clarifying shampoo on a client that I'm seeing the first time or any client that comes to sit in my chair is because I need the cuticle completely clean and I need it completely free so that way I can see if there's any type of hair shaft disorder so the next question I would get like oh well if there's a hair shaft disorder why are you pulling and tucking well anybody who's used a round brush the right way a lot of people don't know how to use a round brush and if you don't know how to use a round brush like i didn't know how to use one before i learned how to use one properly right if you don't know how to use it it feels like so much tension again this was in 2015 okay so there's so it feels like it's so much tension if you don't know what you're doing but if you know what you're doing it glides through the hair like butter and the average person has a hundred thousand follicles on their scalp right and each follicle has anywhere between one to four strands each pore i'm sorry has anywhere between one to four strands protruding out of the pore right so if you are a person who has a hair shaft disorder or 
if I'm blow drying your hair, right? The purpose of getting a silk press or the purpose of getting your hair straight is to separate as many of those hundred thousand strands as humanly possible. So by me using a round brush, look at how many bristles there are on the brush. You can't even count them with the naked eye. On a paddle brush, you could count how many bristles there are on the brush. You can't count them on this round brush. It allows me to be able to separate each of these hair strands the way I need to so I can properly see what I'm dealing with right um at this point um I have blown her hair I'm just blow drying her hair and I'm not gonna look at her hair until after I get done blow drying her hair you won't see me do it in this video but after her hair is completely dry I put her well after I'm done blow drying it, I put her under the dryer so her scalp can dry for about 10 minutes and in those 10 minutes I'm able to go real quick pull put her hair under my microscope and see what hair shaft disorder it is now she had a mixture of what you guys label as single strand knots and another hair shaft disorder I'm not going to name that hair shaft disorder right now because I really cannot remember what the second one was off the top of my head but I'm almost positive that it is the one on the right um middle i'm pretty sure it's the one in the middle middle right um that she had along with what you guys classify as single strand knots and that is the scientific name for what you guys like to call single strand knots look it up yourself right that is what she ended up having that's what i ended up being able to see after i looked under the electron microscope right so at that point i knew that it was really nothing i could do but get rid of it and these all of these hair shaft disorders come from not properly drying the hair right letting the hair weather right because first of all hair weathering takes anywhere between six months to 25 years to show up but let me ask you a question let's say you have a wall right just your wall what would happen if you walked up to the same spot on on a wall in your room and took a water bottle and sprayed that wall with a water bottle every time the the wall looked dry you sprayed it with water again what would happen to that wall right and i think it's safe to say that the wall your wall is stronger than your hair shaft so does it make sense what you just saw pop up on the screen just now was one of the people from inside of the seven day challenge who ends up having natural oils coming out of her scalp but look at this you guys i couldn't even get the comb through her hair and this is how the majority of my clients were and this was in 2015 so when i stopped doing hair it was 2019 and i had been dealing with that for years prior to that now this of course what you're seeing on the screen that was not the person in this video that was someone within the seven day challenge who was able to increase her density within 30 days you guys it's so imperative that you guys learn that most of the time when you're clogging your scalp and clogging your follicles with all of these different products all you're doing is causing a buildup right and again take some screenshots and go ahead over and check the links in the description box so you can see all of the reviews and everything that all of my customers and clients have to say right so now i'm just going ahead and getting rid of as much of the damage as i possibly can um she saw what i was cutting before i cut it uh, i do have a part two to this video i'm gonna be really honest and say that i did not feel like sitting there looking for it because i have thousands of unlisted videos and if this is from 2015 like i'll sit and find it if enough people say they want to see it then i will so let me know in the comments comment let me know your favorite part of the video and say yeah girl i want to see her follow-up because her follow-up video she has some serious hang time all right and it looked really good we i didn't have to cut it like that again all right but Mm. Yeah. So now I'm going through and um just 
cutting at the at first I went through and just cut the baseline but now I'm going through and creating layers um she has a very a really really uneven point at the top because when she did uh when her hair wasn't out she would do like top knot buns and stuff like that and it caused a whole lot of breakage throughout the middle of the crown so as I'm cutting you're going to see that it's like a lot shorter at the top so that's why I'm I had to go in and create layers and of course the breakage wasn't even all the way throughout it was in certain spots so most of the time uh my older videos on my channel when I was cutting hair it wasn't just like oh I'm giving them a cute haircut no it was corrective cutting and there's there's a really really big difference a lot of times when you guys see um you know like one of my favorites to see is razor chick of atlanta and you'll see like somebody will be skin bald in the end after they get after they get up out of her chair like you can't see the ball spots but that's because she does corrective cutting so when you have certain corrective cutting techniques, you're able to hide certain forms of breakage and balding. So that is what I was doing in this video. But as you can see, when you're doing Team Natural Styles, even though your hair looks and feels good, it's an illusion. Because if you, if you need three or four products just to style your hair, then is your hair really in its natural state, right? Because most people who say that they wear their hair natural, would you really just get up, get up in the morning, put some leave-in conditioner on your hair and then walk outside? If that's what you're doing, then I mean, okay, I wouldn't would recommend that either, but if you're layering like three or four different products on your hair just to get one look that's not your natural hair like those that's not like your natural curl pattern your hair is full of products that eventually end up leading to different forms of scalp inflammation and it also makes the hair dry so that's why so many people get confused whenever it comes to moisture yesterday i went live i'll leave the link to that video in the description box below and in that video we talked about how oils and butters lead to massive scalp inflammation dandruff seborrheic dermatitis and so many other forms of bonding and not only did i talk about it but i gave you guys two other sources one that is a dermatologist and one that is a trichologist the dermatologist and the trichologist both wrote these articles years ago and literally word for word verbatim they say every single thing that i've been telling you guys for a decade now because we've been talking about this for 10 years here on my channel so if you want to know more about it make sure you go check the link in the description box below watch that whole live because we read the article together right and make sure you check the description box for that video because i leave all of the information that you need so i don't know what happened in this video um the top of the head got cut off but i do want to say at this point i'm just going in and creating as many choppy layers as i can because there were so many holes um i was able to get the majority of it off but her hair shaft disorder was pretty severe so she did need to have follow-up appointments with me after this i was not able to get a hundred percent of it off as you can see it was like y'all and like throughout throughout the middle i just remember it being not bald spots but it was just so so like drastic like the length difference was so drastic but throughout given with giving her these types of layers it i was able to like camouflage everything and we were able to just make it so she was able to keep up with this pattern and as long as she kept up with the pattern her hair would not break off she would retain length and these layers would grow out so let me know what you think about this video um coming up next i am going to show you guys some healthy hair like some really really 
healthy hair and I'm also going to show you how the twins would wear their hair all the time before they came to get their hair done women with really long hair are not putting a whole bunch of products in their hair and doing a whole bunch of stuff they have their hair in simple simplistic styles and not just the twins I'm going to show you guys a whole bunch of my clients who had long thick healthy hair this is a video of some color I did on one of my clients with really thick hair but I don't know if you guys want to see this one because she didn't do anything wrong there's there's nothing to correct we're just doing hair color that turned out dope and she always listened to me so if you want to see this full video leave me a comment below but make sure you give this video a thumbs up comment below let me know whether or not you want to see it and subscribe I'll see you in my next video bye